Welcome to today's video tutorial by Trust Stanley at TS Tech Talk. Today, guys, I want to show you how to install Bitmoji on your um, Chromebook and uh, on your Chrome laptop. Actually, if you have any Chrome browser or any Windows laptop, it works. So far, is a Chrome browser. So, guys, I'm going to install this and show you guys a little bit on how to use it. But I'm not going to dive in deep. Uh, later on, in more um, tutorials, I'm still going to show you guys how to make use of this on Google Classroom. But right now, I just want to show you guys how to install it and make use of it. This Bitmoji actually works on some browsers, not on every browser. Unlike my previous video where I showed you guys how to use the Bitmoji on, on different charts and mostly every chart on your mobile phone. But this doesn't work on every chart or everywhere on your laptop this actually it kind of different it works in a different way so i'm going to show you guys how this work currently i'm going to only make use of um the gmail and then i haven't tested several things it works on gmail it works on google classroom and some other applications too not every browser anyway so guys let me go ahead and show you guys how to make use of um the bitmoji right here so um let me go ahead and you can make use of bitmoji by searching bitmoji and opening their URL, you can see it's called bitmoji.com, but I usually prefer opening this. Then you just scroll right down to the bottom area. You can notice where it says um, um, Bitmoji for Chrome. Go ahead and click on that, and it should open for you. But if you guys were not able to come through this area, all you just need to do is just search for Chrome. Although it's actually the same way anyway same thing i'm just going to show you guys how to get that just search for chrome chrome store it's actually called chrome web store but we'll just allow you to search and then select the first option that says chrome web store once it opens just go ahead and type in this search section by your left hand side go ahead and search bitmoji bitmoji and hit enter it's for it to load up Depending on how fast your internet is, this might be faster and this might take a while. So you can notice this is the first option on the top right, on the top area. Just go ahead and click on it and then add extension. And if you notice it's still the same section, the same thing that is displaying here. The difference is just because it opens it um, once it's already clicked. Still the same thing. If you see click on it, you're still going to see the same layout. You can see the same thing. There is no difference. This is just a another way to do it. And you can notice it's been installed right here. And it's going to um, display the URL for you and show you the Bitmoji and give you some intro on some stuff. So um, guys, if you are not logged in yet, it's going to display an option for you to log in. So you can make use of your email to log in or you log in with your Snapchat. But since I'm already logged in, it's bringing this detail for me and guys you can notice this detail is actually displaying for displaying from the detail of my login section from my mobile phone so on my mobile phone this is actually the section that it displays um what i actually mean is this um after you might have designed the bitmoji character on your mobile phone it's just going to appear the same way it appears on your mobile device this is just exactly how I did it on my mobile device. Like for instance, if I go ahead and change this design, let me go ahead and change this particular design so that you will see how it appears. It's going to definitely change from this person to a different person to whatever I did change. All right, so I just finished editing the changes. Let me go ahead and refresh this browser to see if it changes, if it updates actually. So it works well. You can see it's updated and the image has changed from the beard guy to this cute looking guy. So um, I already showed you guys how to edit this on mobile, but if you guys forget how to do it, I'm going to leave the link below so you guys can go ahead and check that out on how to do that. And then let me go ahead and test out our um, Bitmoji on the browser, first on the messenger, and then we come over to the one that works properly, which is um, our Gmail. So right here, guys, um, you can easily send a Bitmoji by clicking on the Bitmoji icon and then wait for it. Now, guys, this is a bit complicated because usually you can just 
select any bitmoji and it works well for you but on this other um, video all you need to do is to drag it to the browser section and then wait for it whichever bitmoji you decide to drag drag it to the section where you type and then wait and then scroll down and shift enter so once it shows you a preview of that um, emoji icon just go ahead and delete the test and then send so it will be sent to the person as a bitmoji now you can see so whichever bitmoji you want to choose this is just how to send it on messenger you can see that this is a bit different from the mobile version and and guys um i'm going to be showing you guys uh how it works properly on other this thing on other um apps too but this is exactly not like it works on mobile because i think it works perfectly well on mobile but right here this is just how you're going to go about it it might not be really easy for you to do you have to be um doing a lot of tweaking and tweaking until you get it done and also if your internet is slow it's still going to affect and let me go ahead and uh, click and move it to test section and then click shift enter for it to preview our image for us once the image is preview go ahead and delete the test all of them then send the message so once this is sent does it works well and then let me show you guys how this also work on our gmail it's pretty easy actually on gmail is actually accepted and on every other side is also um like more like the same thing we are doing on the messenger but on gmail it works very fine for us i haven't tried it on facebook app. let me see if it works that way on facebook also let me try to comment right here let me see if if this is going to work and you can notice it's not very fast that's because of my internet speed actually so guys don't forget you can select any of this option and move it to comment section wait for it okay is there then shift enter again just for it to display but not seeing any display yet uh, I wonder if it's going to work if I send it. Oh, it doesn't work. Nah, it doesn't work. So let's say it doesn't work on Facebook. Oh, it actually worked. Probably was um, taking a lot of time. You see? So when it takes a lot of time to edit, it happens. I was actually trying to edit and delete the test, but it didn't work. So let me go ahead and see how this works on uh, Gmail because I learned this works very well on Classroom too. So I'm still going to make a video on how you guys can make use of this on Classroom. But right on your Gmail section, just click on the Gmail and this is it. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I think this is actually different and I think this is cool so you can easily say then is your bitmoji I think someone can easily create um, a catchy what is it called a catchy uh, a catchy newsletter with this if the person is actually making use of it it will look interesting after writing all your message and then leave your bitmoji below it's going to look cool so you can easily remove in case of duplicate and then type. this is cool right so once you finish put the recipient and send this is really easy to do and i think is more recommended on on um, Gmail and also on Google Classroom and there are several websites that also accept it but for some reason Facebook doesn't accept it because he it has its own um, avatar 
option so it just like remove every other one that is standing against his way so guys thank you for watching this video please make sure you subscribe to this channel like the video and share it with your friends see you guys soon on my next video peace and guys i'm also going to be leaving my um patreon on the description below just in case you mind you can share if this video is actually helping you just to help the channel grow make sure you donate to the patreon see you soon